Two Cents Sports Show. Yo, it's Mr. House. What's up, it's your boy C. Woods. And your girl Cheeks. And this is R. Two Cents. What's up, y'all? It's hot out there, brother. Can't <laughs> lie, it's hot. Did I get you? Yeah, you, you, you so hype. <laughs> That's how it is. We live. Let's get it. <laughs> how you living? I'm good. Woods, how you living, brother? I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. All right, man. Let me open my bottle real quick. Right. Let's get right into hey, it. Come here to see you sip water. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure his watch is up. Up. Okay. Yeah, she good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's get right into it, man. So. Uh, officially, as of a couple of hours ago, Kyrie has opted into his uh, last year of his of his four year deal with the Brooklyn Nets. Um, and there was a lot of speculation prior to today whether or not he would opt out of his uh, last year, potentially becoming a free agent, maybe signing with the Lakers. Uh, the late, he was looking to do a sign and trade deal with the Lakers, supposedly. We don't know if any of that is true, uh, but what we do know for a fact is that he did sign uh, to, comp to be his last year in Brooklyn. Now there's still some, some parts moving about that where he may still be traded um, with his now contract so that he can still get paid his 36 million versus having to sign somewhere for less. And that was the issue. The Lakers could only offer him six million dollars, so there could still t still be a potential Russell Westbrook, Kyrie Irving trade. Um, but the Nets want more than the than the Lakers had to offer, supposedly, allegedly. Um, is is I would start with you, Woods, but it's but it's Cheeks is guy. So Cheeks is guy. So Cheeks, I'm gonna start with you. What are your thoughts? Do you think that he's gonna play in Brooklyn next year? Do you think that, or if, he, if you think he's going to be on the move, where do you think he's going to move to? This is very hard because I want to see him on a different team. But um, I think he's going to stay. You think he's going to stay and play? I think it's too much rumors of him, you know, connecting back with LeBron. And then you're going to hear all the talk about him needing, needing LeBron to win a championship. I don't think he wants to hear that anymore. Okay, but the Nets organization. They need people. The reason why they did not offer him a max contract is because of his inability to play over the last three years, or not inability, but unwillingness to play over the last three years. So how does that factor into this scenario? Does he have them by the balls for one more year, or what do you think? He has them by the balls for one more year. I think if Kyrie, I mean, not Kyrie, if KD stays, I think, He's really gonna stay. KD here. signed a four-year contract last year, so, okay, he's, so he's good. I think I think he's gonna stay, and I think he's gonna play the whole year. Play like 82 yeah. games. How many? How many? Uh, how many games is he gonna miss, Cheeks? I'll give him 10. 10, so 72. Yeah, I'll give him 10. Woods, what are your thoughts, man? All right, tell me what your thoughts are, <laughs> but then also tell me what you what you want it to happen. <laughs> My thoughts are uh, he made a financial decision. And I, I think that um, where there's smoke, there's fire. I think that um, he, he, he might do a full year. That trade <laughs> deadline is what, February? Yeah. Never know. And the Lakers, it, it depends on what the Lakers are doing and what the, what the Nets are doing. Um, I feel like Kyrie kind of felt like he owes KD something. Like, all right, man, let me just opt in. Or... Maybe the Nets just was like, nah, we can't do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, I got to ask you a question. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you said you feel like Kyrie, this is your opinion, that Kyrie maybe thinks that he owes KD something. You're talking about the same Kyrie that, yeah. that did not want the league to, to play in the bubble. The right. same Kyrie that was telling people not to play in the bubble. The same Kyrie that... 123 uh, three games. Yeah, missed. that quit, that, yeah. that said he needed some time off mm -hmm. from away from his team because of, of the insurrection that happened. You're talking about the same Kyrie that decided against getting vaccinated because he wanted to stand for mm -hmm. the people. And now you think that he, he's considering? I think he felt like he owed KD something temporarily. Let me clarify that. Okay. All right, because it was too much going on and then it was just like, all right, 
the Lakers might not happen now. Let me opt in, sign and trade, could happen. Is he going to play the whole year? Cheeks, I don't know. Um, Give me a number, man. You mean games played? Yes, out of 82. 65. Damn. I say he played 65 games. I um, mean, that's good for him. If if he stays with the if if he stays with the Nets, I think he plays 65 games. I am not gonna rule out a trade deadline trade. And then when he plays with the when he, if he goes with the Lakers, how many games he Lakers, gonna play? Man, he gonna play all of them. See? <laughs> <laughs> he gonna play all the games of the Lakers because we gonna be in that bitch. Um. But, so yeah, I think I think um, like I said, I think it was a lot of let me make sure I opt in and get my money. And then there, I think the Nets might be working on something. Um, I hope I hope it's with the Lakers, um, but he wasn't gonna take six million dollars. Yeah, I don't know. So he's worth more than that. For sure. I'm, I I think there was a lot of bluffing going on here, right? I mean, Kyrie, Kyrie's like, I'm okay. You guys don't want to talk about a max. I'm done. I don't want to talk. Right? He cut cut off talks. They called it an impasse. We talked about that last week, right? And then the Nets are like, well, we're just going to see see what happens. You know what I'm saying? They, they got a couple trade offers, and, and they're like, nah. Because, I mean, who wants to take on Russell Westbrook, $47 million and a, and a pick in, in, in 2027? That's, that's a tough ask. Um, I think they should have took it for the simple fact that, like you guys said, if he plays out this one year, he, he can just bounce. And then they don't get nothing for him. They, got, they get one year of his services. And they pretty much have to win the championship for them to probably want to resign him, right? After after everything that's went down, um, I still think that trade is on the table. I hope it's on the table because it doesn't it doesn't make sense. Like it, it, for the most part, I just really want to get Russell Westbrook out of LA. That, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest. That's that's really what it is. But but I feel like it makes the most sense in terms of Kyrie would sign a long term deal with the Lakers. Mm -hmm. Russ would be feel free to do whatever he wants to do. And it, I think it would be a win for both sides. It would be reuniting old teammates back together, which is kind of weird. But like you, Cheeks, I agree. I want to see I want to see Kyrie play somewhere else, man. Like we've seen him play in Brooklyn. We've seen they got swept. Like what more can we what can we just what are they adding next year? Ben Simmons? I don't know, man. It's tough. Cheese, go ahead. I don't know. I feel like Russell's going to have a good year. A good this, year? A good year week. where? Lakers. This is what you guys say now. I want so, you to see these faces they got on no, right no, now. No, no, We're no. going to bring this back. So I, I need to. <laughs> when I need the to, season start, and y'all look like, man, Cheese, she was right. Let me bring this up, though. Cheese, you said that last year, though. No. Yes, Allegedly. I said he needs a good coach to put him in the right rotation in the offense. Yeah, okay. but you said they was going to be straight. They could if he had the right offense. So you do know that Here we go. allegedly Darvin Ham and Rob Polinka sat down with him. Oh yeah. And told him he's gonna be a defensive presence next year. So you're saying he's gonna have a good offensive year? He, he's gonna do his part, I bet you. Okay. June, what day is it? June 26th? June 27th? June 27th. June 27th. That's the doctors uh, and the tape. House, how many games though for Kyrie? You didn't have, you didn't uh, if he stays in Brooklyn? Yeah. If he stays in Brooklyn, I'll give him... Uh, I can't even do that, dude. I was going to say 70 games, and I, I can't even... <laughs> I can't even say that, man. I can't even say that. Because, Tell the you, because you never know like what he's gonna, what is, what's going to come up happens. in his life that yeah. makes him not want to play basketball at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, you know, who Facts. knows? He might he might have a kid on the way or something and just not want to play I basketball. I hope he don't for come it. to the Lakers. Y'all talk about him so bad. <laughs> y'all just kill him. And then if he comes to the Lakers, y'all be praising scholar him. Scholar to scholar to gentleman. Okay, but am I saying anything that's a lie? Am I saying anything that's false? I mean If I was if I was just saying if I was just saying stuff just to say it, that's I mean one it wasn't thing. like today, but you guys talk shit about him before. I I like Kyrie. Oh, we just I talked about like his him. lack of I, being on the court. He's a great but, player. I mean, as an ambassador of the game, he's not he's not an ideal person to to go to in that in that in that regard. Like he was the, the vice president of the NBA PA and didn't show up. He hasn't sport. done he hasn't done it. Still having games, you saying? 
Damn it. Because if you say he's trying to avoid it, he's trying to avoid it. I thought I had it. wiggled out of that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to say 55. What? Damn. 55. What is that, 60% of the he, season? Okay, last year. <laughs> I'm trying to do the math. I was a sociology major, sorry, but. Last year, <laughs> last year he couldn't play because he couldn't play at home, right? Mm -hmm. He was unvaccinated mm -hmm. and he could play on the road, but then the Nets were like, nah, we, not, we, not, we don't want a part-time player. But then when KD got hurt and they started losing games and they was like, yeah, we want a part-time player. <laughs> so that's the only reason why he even played that many games because they changed their mind <laughs> Once they realized that they were uh, losing, because they, they were first place when KD got hurt. They were, they were number one in the East. KD got hurt, and then they ended up in the play-in game. Mm -hmm. And they needed Kyrie to kind of help them out. I don't know, man. I, I'm going to say 55. Is that disrespectful? Yeah. Is it? Mm -hmm. How? I don't, I, I don't understand it. Because now he can play. He, he doesn't have to be vaccinated. So now he can play. So what's, what's, He could have played in the bubble. Did he play? Nobody wanted to play in that bubble. You wouldn't want to play in that Chiefs. bubble with no crowd. Everybody <laughs> Chiefs. Chiefs, he could have played in the bubble. He probably could have. He, he, he didn't play in the bubble. It's okay. And then after good. after being back to playing basketball for a week, he took another two to three weeks off. I can't. I, I, 55, I'm sticking with it, man. Y'all want to put a bet on it? No. Because I don't, I don't care enough to, to bet on, my money. On. Because if he goes to the Lakers, he's still going to play 55 games. No, he won't. It'd be different. It'd be different. We're, it, Lakers are a different franchise than the, than the new, yeah. I'm about to call them New Jersey, the Brooklyn Nets. <laughs> the Lakers are a different franchise. Okay. Am I, am, am, am I, is that not accurate? It's the Lakers, okay. man. Um, been good since. All right, so teams you would want to see him with? I think he'd be a good fit in Miami. Who would they trade, though? Uh, Chubby Boy. Yep, Lowry. Yeah. That's not enough. Yeah, Hero, I'll trade him too. Mm, that'd be enough. That'd be enough. Um, I mean, Miami wouldn't, Pat Riley wouldn't take that, but. Miami, trying to think everybody on the East. Um, Why it gotta be East? It could be West. I'm, I'm gonna go to that oh, side okay. too. I'm right, just trying ahead. to think of East. Milwaukee, no. Boston, no. Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, been yeah. There. I didn't even bring that up. Been there, done that. I didn't even bring yeah. up Boston. That that just amplifies everything I've said so far. Oh, uh, Philly. He would have given Philly. Going back with Harden? I would trade Harden. Uh, That'd be a good, good be pick. Done. I think Philly in LA. I mean, Wes, I would probably say if anybody. Okay, your I, team. I would put with Phoenix. Team, Him and teams that, the way he had a wish list of teams. It was. Yeah. Clippers, Sixers, Lakers, Lakers, Sixers, 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 Heat, and it was two more. He would be nice in Phoenix. Mm. So get rid of Chris Paul? Oh, yeah. Ship him out. Him and Booker together? And the rest of the team he had? Aiden's not going to be there, though. Aiden already said he's not going to be okay. there. okay. Yeah. They need Aiden anyway. <laughs> no, I don't think I, that's a, that don't sound like a good fit. Utah. So him and Booker. Uh, that's, not a good, that's not a good fit. Uh, he's a little more ball dominant. Than CP3 though, that's the thing. No, and I don't know if he like... likes the laws in Arizona either. <laughs> so that'd be 25 games <laughs> missed right there. <laughs> I don't see nowhere else. They don't like, celebrate Utah, in OK he day. He would be so. OK with Utah. They, you know, they got a young little team, but. Yeah, and wherever he goes, he has, yeah. he has to go he to a contender yeah. too. He yeah. said the Knicks too, that's right. I can't see him, like, I don't know. What about you, Woods? Lakers, um, if not the Lakers, I did look at that Miami Heat thing, but I thought that they would have to give up Jimmy. But if they could give up just uh, Hero and Tucker, is that Low Lowry, no. Lowry, Chunky boy, that might be something. But they'd I don't know. They probably have to give up Duncan Robinson too. Yeah, they'd have to give up somebody else. I don't feel like because I feel like Lowry is would just be a throw in, and Tyler Hero would be somebody to shoot. Um, so yeah, Lakers, Heat. I would say the Clippers, but. I feel like, man, I can't see him and LeBron being in the same city and him not being with LeBron, if you know what I mean. The Clippers, but who would you trade off the Clippers? The Clippers, just, I mean, they have a good team. Man, uh, they trade, who's that man? Reggie um, Jackson. Reggie Jackson, and they said somebody was. Norman Powell. Something like that, they got like four or five people. But then who would you, I mean, but who would be the team? Because Jackson is killer right now. Uh, Kyrie, 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 Kawhi, Kawhi and, and PG. PG? 
And Zubac is his baller. I'm mm. mad we got rid of Zubac. That'd be a squad. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that would be a squad. Ooh, be a squad. Ooh, nice so arena squad. too. Oh yeah. yeah. Same arena as the Lakers. That'd be, it'd be, that'd be a nice so that'd squad. be yeah. the Clippers actually have I don't know about their salary cap, but the Clippers have the pieces to, oh, yeah, they do. to, to make that happen, but I don't know. And he, nice. you know, Ty Lu is there and so it'd be interesting. Mm. It would, man. Well, we can all wish and hope and who would you pick? Who's your team? Lakers. That's, I mean, that's all that's it. Yeah. Please don't come to the Lakers. Please don't come to Because I, I just imagine, okay, so I just imagine him and LeBron and AD. Mm-hmm. AD's not going to, let's see how many games, a, how gonna, many a, games a, is he going to play this gonna season? Miss, let's a, talk about AD's going to miss 30 games. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. But I mean, I, I feel like we'd be able to sustain, we'd be able to sustain what team is that? Yeah, Clippers, baby! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you signed with them? Yeah. Okay. Who did? The, the boy that, that tried in one? John, John Wall. Wall. John Wall. Uh, they can have John Wall. They go to Kyrie's they situation Kyrie, right there. The Kyrie so. is out. Um, John Wall missed a lot of games, too, so. <laughs> I wonder who they trade. Huh? I wonder who they, they trade. They don't have to trade nobody. He's he a free agent. Yeah. yeah. That's a good pickup. Yeah, it is, but. Now, what, Reggie Jackson going now? Nah, Reggie, mm-hmm. that's Reggie's team still. That's Reggie's team still. That's going to be interesting. Uh, we'll y'all, see how- y'all really going to come in seventh and sixth place this season. Yeah. Let's change the subject because I don't yeah. like that right now. <laughs> Six and seven, Lakers. <laughs> Six foot, y'all seven foot, eight foot. Y'all going to be fighting in the bubble again. Huh? <laughs> fighting for playoff rounds again. Oh, man, I Dang, can't. My, heart, can't my heart can't do that again, man. Y'all don't even have to. Who did y'all pick up? Somebody. I don't even know why. Free, 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 agency, free agency hasn't started yet. Free agency yeah. starts next uh, next week or a well, couple who weeks. Who did y'all get out of the draft? Max, Max Christie, okay. And Draymond praised him too. Draymond said the Lakers got a great pick because he went to Michigan State probably. But exactly. I, he can shoot though, so we'll see. And we well, got you making Sharif. It, you, you making it worse, dog. Sharif O'Neal, <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Pippen. <laughs> oh yeah, we did. We did sign they Sharif O'Neal. Hey they man, they shout they out Sharif, man. They Stop they hating. Me. Um, yeah, we should have just skipped out. Yeah. <laughs> the draft Damn you, cheeks, man. Um, <laughs> let's switch just, it up, man. Let's switch it up. We talked. Please. We talked about this a little bit last week, but. Um, the Washington, oh, we tell me it was a different topic. We talked about the coach. This week, the Washington Commanders are in the news because, um, you know, they, they went through their whole uh, uh, scandal where they had 650,000 emails that, were go- that Congress was going through um, and being investigated for uh, the scandal with the cheerleaders and so many, so many things are thrown into this. And as a result, Daniel Snyder, the owner, who, who allegedly uh, was running his own investigation and trying to shut people up and going around uh, uh, threatening reporters and, and, and people to make sure that this information didn't come out, uh, is being subpoenaed by the su- Supreme Court? Uh, yeah, yeah. The by the Supreme Court. Court like and uh, <laughs> apparently, uh, in the subpoena, they they required his presence to to testify, um, and according to reports, he said nah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say it again? He said nah. I ain't got time. I ain't gonna do it. So he he is denied or or rejected rejected a Supreme Court subpoena. <laughs> um, Woods, I'm gonna start with you, man. What? Uh, what? You gotta go, you gotta go, you know where this dude live at. You gotta go to the house and get him. You gotta go to his well, house and that's, that's, how they, that's how he you get a subpoena though. They come Ooh. to your house and they give it to you. How do you tell the government, nah? <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I'm cool. I did my own investigation. Y'all I'll holler at y'all later. And then your attorney, I don't know if she didn't want to open the email or whatever. Or she tried to send it back or whatever, but it's like. Who return gets, to, return, return to send to send on the email? Who gets, who gets away with that without going to jail? Uh, I'm going to tell you. It's These a, people. It's, a, it's, yeah. it's people that it's have skin clear. color that yeah. matches my shoes right now. Yeah. But to, to do that, because I remember last week they were saying, oh, he's going to come in and he's got to speak. And, and then he was just like, mm, I'm rejecting it. It's like, wait, can you do that? 
Because there's a lot of brothers in the hood that would be like, nah, I'm cool. They pulling up at your house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They got to go get this dude. Seriously. They got to go get him. To go to the office, his house, wherever. Go get him. And just be like, hey, come on with us. I don't understand it. He was probably big chilling too in his office like, yeah, Well, come okay, on, okay. So I guess maybe the, the difference is that there's a crim criminal investigation. This is not a criminal investigation. But if the house, they, yeah, they send you if the Supreme subpoena, Court yeah, house, subpoena, that's that's subpoena. Big. subpoena. That means if you don't show up, you get a bench warrant, you go to jail until at, you're. At, um, Nate, can we find out? Uh, can you reject a subpoena? Is that is that something that's that's legal? You can fail to respond to us. Damn, did you ask Google? <laughs> So he'll be he'll be considered in contempt of court. Yep. Club fed. It is or fine or both. I think. Well, fine's you, not gonna do anything. You got that now. quick. He's like. Ooh, it's um, that boy over here. Cheeks. Your thoughts on this? Man, I'm gonna tell you this. If it was one of us, we would oh, be in jail shit, right man. now. OJ no interview, nothing. We would have been handcuffed. <laughs> Walking out just like this, back in that car. Who says no? On the I didn't news. get it. Like, on the news. Come on, man. Like <coughs> he's been in so much trouble. They should have been took him in a long time ago. The fact that he tried to cover it up too is Yeah, like too I much. didn't get this. I didn't get Life this. Came up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't action. get this or whatever. So it's just like, yeah, you gotta have some can I say balls on Yeah. yeah. Uh, balls to say I didn't get this. So Hey, we'll, well see no, what he happens. didn't deny that he didn't get it. He just rejected it. Yeah, like, I'm not going back here. Like, I'm so. good. I'm like, good. when? Monday? What? Nah, <laughs> that's not good for us. Um, I'm busy. <laughs> I mean, the notion, the the idea, the, the actuality to even say no, it just screams white privilege, right? Like, <laughs> who, who even who even conjures up in their head, like, nah, I'm just, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, you want you want me to come to court and talk to you? No, no, I'm not gonna do it. Like, it's almost like a uh, like a brat. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like like a like a brat, like telling their parents, like, no, no. It's crazy to me, man, that somebody could even think think to say that. And, and I guess I guess that's a part of you know how how we are as people. You know, we just assume that laws are laws and. Everything is everything. And clearly you can say no to shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, man, we coming to take you to jail. No, I'm good, dude. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm at home. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I mean, that, it just it just opens up a, 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 a new world of things to me, man. Like, that I, I can say no to. You know what I'm saying? Jury duty. <laughs> no. Nope. I want to go to nah, that, Nah, listen, nah, I ain't going jury nah, duty. Nah, I'm good. What day? I'm good, man. I got, I got, this, I got something else to do that day. <laughs> He guilty, probably. Sorry. Hey. Hey. Oh, she. Hey. Whoever. I ain't going. Get, give me the Zoom link. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But I, I don't know, man. It's just it's just wild to 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 think to think that, man. But okay. So my next question is: all these allegations, right? And, and there's a lot of them. And 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 John Gruden was fired. John Gruden from a whole different organization was fired as a result of these emails and, and the investigation that they're doing on the Washington team. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so many more emails and there's so much, so many more allegations, including, uh, was it sexual assault? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, an environment that was uh, threatening to women and things like that. So my question to you, Cheeks, is, Anything gonna happen to him? Yes, is anything gonna happen to him? And should his team be taken away from him? No. No, his team should should not? Or no, nothing's gonna no, happen to him? No, to all them questions. I don't think, if anything happens to him, it's gonna be a price a suspension. But I don't, everything else he's well, gonna what is this? He don't play, what is the suspension to him? He, it's, he probably can't, can't go to no games box. or something, but he's not gonna get that team taken away from him. Especially that everything that happened before this, the sexual assault, you saying no to you not getting stuff? Yeah, he's he's fine. He knows he's fine. That's tough. What? 
So wait, you saying he's not? She's saying nothing's going. Nothing's he's gonna, gonna be fine. Happen. I say he get fine. That's about it. So what I think is gonna happen is, I think he's gonna get his team taken from him, and I think he should, because this is you're looking at Deshaun Watson, right? Mm -hmm. Situation. You're looking at Gruden from a whole other organization. Gruden got fired. You have to at least take this dude's team from him. Oh, I, I agree with you. <laughs> I think it's going to happen. I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on through the media and with the whole Deshaun thing. Gruden has got his lawsuit going too. Mm -hmm. And once these emails come out, because see, that's just private for the attorney through uh, discovery. Once these emails come out and come public, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. He won't be the owner of that team. These, these emails are not going to come out. They already yeah. said that. You think you think they're not going to come they're, out? They're not going to come out. Yeah. I think they're going to come out. Um, Some, it's going to have to be a leak. Yeah. Somebody might leak them. Leakers, LA leakers. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think that he they're going to take his team from him. I think it's, it's going to be too much pressure. Hmm. That's that's just me. I think his team. I think good. you have to take his team from him. Like there's no there's no other option here. I mean there's. There's too much spotlight. I mean, we just had uh, uh, Roe Ro, Ro Ro versus Wade, Wade overturned mm -hmm. a few days ago, right? And there's heavy emphasis on, on how we treat women in the workplace and even more emphasis on sexual assault, which is why Deshaun Watson is going through what mm -hmm. he's going through right now and why they're talking about suspending him indefinitely uh, in the NFL, right? And we're talking about the same type of things happen in this organization, and we're tried to, and you tried to cover it up, right? And you tried to hush people. On top of that, you have to t like. There's no other option mm -hmm. other than to take his team away from him. I mean, Donald Sterling was a piece of shit, but he, his his resume his What's resume it? ain't this bad. You know what I'm saying? Um, you now, Roger Goodell has said he has no precedent in terms of the bylaws of the NFL where he can remove Daniel Snyder from his team. But I think as the commissioner, you have to change whatever you need to change in order to make sure that this happens because there's no way you can get away still owning a team with all of that shit going on, dude. They were, they were uh, illegally taking, like forcing the cheerleaders to take pictures. Yep. Nude pictures. Like, and you knew about this. And he tried to, you know, deny uh, uh, knowing anything about it. And, you know, through these emails, I'm sure they found out that he knew what was happening. And you, you can't, that, that, this is 2022 and shit like that doesn't fly. And especially when it becomes public, it's, it's, a it's over, man. Cheeks? I still gonna go with my opinion. I just feel like that NBA and the NFL are two different things. I agree. That, that, that's, that NBA, is true. NBA, I mean, you have players that are going to stand up, wear shirts, not play to to get somebody out. And I don't think the NFL is going to do that. You, you, players are not really going to say anything or whoever it is. And the commissioner so, is just, he don't have a backbone to save his life. So, I mean. He's just collecting his yeah, 30, 30 yeah. million a year. I'll go out there and say a two minute speech and then go back to my office. But I don't think if he was in the NBA, he had been out a long Chase, time ago. I, I think you brought up a, a good point right there about how different they are. Like the NBA is, is a part of modern society mm -hmm. and the NFL is, you know, back in, in slave years. Good old there, boys. Right? Yeah, good old boys society. Um, but you don't, but I feel like this situation like they tried to cover up the Deshaun shit too. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, and, 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 and it's not, this is not exclusive to, to the NFL or to sports organizations. Organizations, companies have been doing this shit for years, trying to cover up, you know, when the CEO does some wild shit. And, and that's, just, that's just what it is, right? But this is, this is public, we have, we have this, Roe vs. Wade stuff going on, mm -hmm. and, and this is like out there, it's Front Street. And even though the, the story is not as big now as it, as it was originally, you don't think that there could be a push to where he can, they'll, they'll snatch his shit? 
I mean, I agree with both of you guys. I want I want his team to get taken away, but me personally, I don't think it's going to happen. You just don't have that much trust in, yeah. in the process. In the NFL, I just feel like it's going to die down like it did, and it's gonna, he's going to do something. It comes back up, and I think it's about to die down again because we got so much going on around us in the United States and everywhere else. I think it's going to die down, and then you won't hear nothing about it. But see, Cheeks, that's why I disagree. I think with everything going on with the women's rights and the women's movement right now, I think that they will be making a lot of noise when this, if, even if they settle, it's going to go to, there's going to be some groups out there to be like, hey, hold on a second. And then they're going to be looking at Deshaun Watson. They're going to be looking at John Gruden. John Gruden is actually suing the NFL for this same situation where his emails only were only made public. And he's like, well, hold up. Let's see all the emails. So. Yeah, but uh, that's that's stupid because that don't take away his race his racism. You know what I'm it don't. Like, it don't. It's big lips or whatever he, he said. Other people were racist but too. I but I feel like I feel like it, you're you're you're. It's a slippery slope if you don't do anything to him. If you don't take his team from him, I mean, a fine does nothing to a guy who's a billionaire, right? A suspension, right. a suspension does nothing because he's what you you can't come to the uh your your box for what. Nine Even games. if they gave him a five-year five-year ban, that, it's still that's, he owns the team. He gets the revenue. Yeah. yeah, like that. That does nothing. You have to take the team from. Him. I mean, I agree with you guys. I hope they do take it. Yeah. I just, I, I, I guess, I'm holding out the optimism that someday the right thing can be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like you know, over and over and over. It's the same repetitive. Nothing happened, privilege. and we just and we just yeah privilege, and we just move on, and we just move on, and we just move on, you know mentality, and I'm just saying that you know some point like like when they took Donald Sterling's team, I was like okay, mm -hmm. and they are different, I know, but I'm just saying like at some point when do you draw the line? When is the where is the line, and when do you draw it, and when do you stay on a good the good side of it? When when? This this is the opportunity. You're right. I mean, they they're, they're trying to get on the good side of the the Deshaun Watson, right? The the good the right side, which is uh, punishing him and 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 uh, suspending him, right? So why not do the same thing for the owner who went above and beyond in this situation? Yeah, Deshaun had 66 women, and this dude had more, right? <laughs> there was more. There was like a cover up and everything else, so. And you gotta say, get the race too. Yeah, and, and Deshaun settled. You know, I don't know how many how much money he's gave out or the Browns have given out. <laughs> but yeah, that, I lot. feel like how you got to take the team from him. You have to. You got to make a statement. Yeah, you have to. Um. Well, from that uh, gloomy topic, I, I I gotta I gotta discuss um, two things. Two things. Number one, um, I want to give you a chance to clarify. <laughs> uh, what you said last week, which was that uh, you wanted, you said you would take rings over, over career, stat, right. over status, right? right. I don't want to make sure we get yeah. it all clear yeah. here, um, because you said you would take uh, hypothetically, if if a player, we don't, we, it doesn't even need to be a name, if a player had four rings versus having Melo's career, and it doesn't matter how they got those four rings you would take that four ring career over Carmelo Anthony's career. I want to clarify that here. I would take I would take the rings depending on who the player was. You you, you he duped me with the da da Damian Lee thing. And okay. If you okay. look at the no. tape, wait, hold on. You check the tape. I didn't say no, I, I said I take the rings. I didn't say yeah, give me Damian Lee, okay. right? You're right. But you did so, you went as far to say Mark Madsen. I you brought said, that. I brought up Mark Madsen as a Mark joke. Mark right. and Mark Madsen only has two rings. I don't know. Does he, he have to have one? He has two. Okay. He but has that two, was a joke. And he didn't. Okay. All right. So to clarify, I believe that having a ring is the or championship, not even ring, whatever, belt, boxing, whatever. I truly believe that have, being a champion is better than somebody's um, stellar career. Like I listen, love Melo, love Iverson, love Charles Barkley. But at the end of the day, just for me, I would love a championship and whatever I was I was okay, trying to do. So if you didn't play no minutes in the game. That, see, that's different. Say, that's some different. Some of these people ain't played at I, if, all. I wanna be, if I was seconds. a bus driver, though, like, that's different. If, you, if it's like, okay. if you're playing 10 years doing something, trying to do your best, trying to get a ring, 
and you finally accomplish that, I think that's, you're gonna feel better about yourself than, hey, I dropped 40 at night and got 250 million. That's all I was saying. Love Melo. But Love I, Melo. I think I would have it. I don't know. Okay, because, okay, okay. okay. But that, but anyway, that's because, old no, man. But what we got no, next? What's next, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> what's next? No, no. But look, what's next? Have, hey, what's going you, on? You what's the next topic? You have one of those careers that you just come in with the last minute, thirty but minutes Iggy, of the game. Iggy, Iggy, but it started with Iggy, right? We talked about Iggy, right? Let's be honest. We were talking yeah, about yeah. Iggy. Yeah. Iggy's Iggy's career wasn't Carmelo's career, but Iggy has the rings, and he was a Finals MVP. Mm-hmm. But aren't we? Don't you want to reach that mountaintop? Especially like Iggy, where he was the star. He did hold his team down one time in Philly. He was the man. Mm-hmm. That's all I was saying. That's all I was saying. Next. So, so rings over. Rings over you being a nobody on the team. I would, I, me personally, I would want I would want to reach that mountaintop of a ring, a championship, regardless of regardless of how you got the rings. But would you tell your kids, like, man, I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be a bench writer. That's why okay. I said we but talked I about Iggy. All right. That's why we talked about okay. Iggy. Let's clarify. It was Iggy versus Melo. Okay. And that, I said Iggy's career. I would have took Iggy's. But then that's why I brought up Damian Lee because I wanted to, Damian. I, wanted I didn't to know who the dude was. Shout out to Damian Lee. Didn't know who you were, bro. Sorry, you got a ring. But it was funny. Corey let me have it. And I was like, dude. I was like, let me check. And if you check the tape, I actually said I didn't say I take Damian Lee. I said I take the four rings. Because okay. you made it seem like he had four, but I'm saying I said if he had four, I didn't, I didn't make it seem like. So Iggy though, right? I said I take Iggy's rings and career. Okay. So right. just to clarify, not right. I mean, shout out to all them people who got rings, and I did bring up Mark Madsen as a joke, but not the not the bus riders. You know what I'm saying? Iggy was an influential part of that championship. All right, all right. I'm just yeah, glad we got, got a ch- you got a chance to clarify. We don't have to discuss you it. You don't waste these good people time, man. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> the, the, last thing, the last thing I wanted to uh, talk about, man, is the drill this weekend. Um, uh, they so they hosted a tournament um, with uh, Miami Pro League, uh, Brunson out of Baltimore, Danny Rumpf out of Philadelphia, uh, the Dykeman League out of New York, and. Um, who am I missing? Phil, uh, did I say Philly? Uh, AEBL out of Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And it was live, man. So it was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, I, I was there Friday and Saturday, missed Sunday. Uh, Sunday was the championship game, but Friday, uh, the Drew League beat Baltimore by like 30 points. Uh, Saturday, they beat New York by another 20, 20 plus points. And, but the game, the game on Saturday was so live. Like the gym ended up getting packed and people were standing on the sidelines and every time the Drew Lee scored, it was like the whole crowd was going crazy. It was it was just a dope atmosphere to be a part of. And uh, shout out to the Drew Lee, shout out to Caffeine for, uh, for televising it because I got to watch the championship game on their network um, yesterday, which was uh, the Drew League against Miami and of course, LA won. Keys. Um, shout out to Co- shout out to Keys, Coach Keon, a uh, friend of the show. Shout out to Pat. Uh, he played. Shout out to Jonathan Gibbs. Uh, shout out to Dakari Tucker. He not only won with the Drew, but he also won the three point uh, championship, three point contest. Um, yeah, man. So just it was it was a, it was a dope event to to experience. And uh, shout out, shout out to the players, even all the players that came from, from, uh, from, from all those different cities. It was a fun atmosphere. And uh, shout out to Chanel Smiley, who is the uh, op- owner operator of the Drew. Um, and I spoke with her. We were gonna have her on the show too. So nice. Um, Cheeks, you got a shout out. I'm gonna shout out my boy Keon. He has done a lot for the city of LA. Coaching, players, training, training, sending people overseas. He has done a lot. Women's lead. So I'm gonna give a shout out to Keon. I'm gonna congratulate him for this weekend. He's done a lot. I'm proud of him. Woods, you got a shout out? Man, shout out to the LA Drew. Um, I wish I was there. I saw your post and um, Pat, I saw Pat's post. And it's always, being from the West, you, that's the one game you want to win. You want to beat New York. Even if they would have lost to whoever, it's like, you got to beat New York. And it was live, because I saw people running on the court and uh-huh. dancing and shit. I'm uh-huh. like, damn. Yeah. 
So yeah, man, shout out to the LA Drew squad, man. Um, I, I want to give a shout out to uh, the Drew League as well. But I also have to give, give a shout out to uh, Black Lightning Track Club. Uh, we had a track meet this weekend and uh, a lot of the ladies took home and the, and the boys took home uh, a lot of medals. Got to give a shout out to my daughter, Kaylin and her eight and under track squad. They uh, came in second, Ooh. second place and, and qualified for nationals. Okay. That was regionals, they qualified for nationals or something like that. So shout out to Kaylin and, and Tavia and, and Anaya and, and Mila, so. Yeah. Dope. That's dope. dope. There it is, y'all. I'm House. That's Woods. That's Cheeks. And we out.